The Pareto principle also known as the 80 20 rule, the law of the vital few, or the principle of factor sparsity states that, for many events, roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. Management consultant Joseph M. Durand suggested the principle and named it after Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who noted the 80 20 connection while at the University of Lausanne in 1896. In his first work, Caused Economy Politic, Pareto showed that approximately 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. The Pareto principle is only tangentially related to Pareto efficiency. Pareto developed both concepts in the context of the distribution of income and wealth among the population. Mathematically, the 80 20 rule is roughly followed by a power law distribution for a particular set of parameters, and many natural phenomena have been shown empirically to exhibit such a distribution. It is an axiom of business management that 80% of sales come from 20% of clients. The original observation was in connection with population and wealth. Pareto noticed that approximately 80% of Italy's land was owned by 20% of the population. He then carried out surveys on a variety of other countries and found to his surprise that a similar distribution applied. A chart that gave the inequality a very visible and comprehensible form, the so-called champagne glass effect, was contained in the 1992 United Nations Development Program report, which showed that distribution of global income is very uneven, with the richest 20% of the world's population controlling 82.7% of the world's income. Still, the Gini index of the world shows that nations have wealth distributions that vary greatly. The Pareto principle also could be seen as applying to taxation. In the US, the top 20% of earners have paid roughly 80 to 90% of federal income taxes in 2000 and 2006, and again in 2018. In computer science the Pareto principle can be applied to optimization efforts. For example, Microsoft noted that by fixing the top 20% of the most reported bugs, 80% of the related errors and crashes in a given system would be eliminated. Lowell Arthur expressed that 20% of the code has 80% of the errors. Find them, fix them. It was also discovered that in general the 80% of a certain piece of software can be written in 20% of the total allocated time. Conversely, the hardest 20% of the code takes 80% of the time. It has been inferred the Pareto principle applies to athletic training, where roughly 20% of the exercises and habits have 80% of the impact and the trainee should not focus so much on a varied training. This does not necessarily mean that having a healthy diet or going to the gym are not important, but they are not as significant as the key activities. It is also important to note this 80 20 rule has yet to be scientifically tested in controlled studies of athletic training. In baseball, the Pareto principle has been perceived in wins above replacement which is an attempt to combine multiple statistics to determine a player's overall importance to a team. 15% of all the players last year produced 85% of the total wins with the other 85% of the players creating 15% of the wins. Occupational health and safety professionals use the Pareto principle to underline the importance of hazard prioritization. Assuming 20% of the hazards account for 80% of the injuries, and by categorizing hazards, safety professionals can target those 20% of the hazards that cause 80% of the injuries or accidents. Alternatively, if hazards are addressed in random order, a safety professional is more likely to fix one of the 80% of hazards that account only for some fraction of the remaining 20% of injuries. The idea has a rule of thumb application in many places, but it is commonly misused. For example, it is a misuse to state a solution to a problem fits the 80 20 rule just because it fits 80% of the cases. It must also be that the solution requires only 20% of the resources that would be needed to solve all cases. Additionally, it is a misuse of the 80 20 rule to interpret a small number of categories or observations.